In this demonstration, I'll be illustrating how a divergent boundary is able to record the magnetic polarity of the ocean rock. Now that means that every few thousand years, the magnetic pole switches from the north to the south. So if you were to have a compass, if the pole was magnetically south, your compass would point south. If your pole is magnetically north, your compass would point north. So we're about due for another change coming up shortly. And when that happens, we really won't feel influenced by that. The birds might be a little bit confused because they internally know what direction the North Pole is and the South Pole is based on the magnetism. So when that switches, there might be a little bit of confusion with them. But for us, the biggest change we'll see is with a compass. So to illustrate this point, I have a box which will illustrate the ocean floor. This is a mid-ocean ridge. And the mid-ocean ridge is basically an underground mountain chain where the plates are moving apart. Where the plates move apart, magma is able to rise to the surface, push the old rocks out, and solidify as new rock. So the paper is going to solidify as the rock, coming up as magma, and then the different colored markers will illustrate the polarity. The orange will be the north pole, the blue will be the south pole. So what happens is the magma rises to the surface due to a low amount of pressure and high temperatures. As the rock spreads out across the mid-ocean boundary, the rocks or the minerals inside of the rock are sometimes magnetic, such as magnetite. And what that's going to do is it's going to align itself with the magnetic pole. So in this case, the magnetic pole is north, so the rocks align themselves to face north. Over a period of time, new rock rises to the surface. And after a few thousand years, the polarity might switch, and it might be a magnetic south pole, in which case the magnetic rocks or minerals inside of the igneous rock will start pointing south. Gradually, the plate continues to separate. It's about five centimeters per year. After a few thousand years, the pole will then be magnetically north, and the rock will align itself to the north. So you can see a pattern on the ocean floor, and the larger the bands, the longer the amount of time that has gone by. It's like looking at the rings of a tree. The larger the rings, the larger the growing season for each year of the tree. So for this instance, every few thousand years, the more rock you have in between each color shows a longer period of growth development. What you can also tell from this is that the orange lines are the same age, the blue lines are the same age, and the inner orange lines are the same age. So as you move apart from the inside, it goes from the younger rock to the older rock, and as they correlate, they'll be the same age. They'll also be made of the same substances and continue to have similar characteristics as the rocks on the opposite side.